Welcome to Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? I'm Andrew Gilman. It's clear what Paul Wiedefeld, general manager of Washington, D.C.'s transit system, was thinking when he shut down the entire system in the middle of a busy work week to inspect every inch of every track. Wiedefeld was thinking safety first, particularly for the nation's second largest transit system, one that has had accidents and fatalities that have shaken commuter confidence. D.C. officials and commuters grumbled a bit, but they got through the day. Contrast what Wiedefeld was thinking and did, and what happened with other crises, whether it was the German Wings plane crash or the BP well blowout. Those are examples of accidents that occurred because responsible people didn't take action. Want a few takeaways from the D.C. Metro shutdown? One. Swift, decisive action and direct communications may be inconvenient, but it may be the best way to prevent accidents and a much more expansive crisis. Two, stakeholders want leadership in a crisis. Wiedefeld weighed his options and made decisions. Three, Metro utilized multiple channels to communicate the messages about the shutdown. Think of it, mass transit riders get info in all sorts of ways, so why not use websites, text messages, traditional news media, radio, TV, and print, and Twitter. Hopefully you won't be in the middle of a similar public safety crisis, but use this DC Metro example as a reason to plan what channels to employ for communicating quickly and consistently to all stakeholders. I'm Andy Gilman in Washington. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook.